The prominence of a speech contest such as this one which will draw attention to how difficult it is for other people to communicate with you when you think, oh, they have to know English. I think in, in, in a township like Soweto where people normally speak Zulu and all these other different languages, Toastmasters in, in Soweto um, could be used to how do you call, what do you call this? Like bring in um, our fellow black people to speak, to, to be comfortable in their language. So I think maybe some of the hindrances for people to become members, it is the English language. So now, because now we're starting to use Zulu, it will open doors for other people who are not yet comfortable speaking English. So what we think is that it's easier to become more confident and more self-assured and to lead if you're speaking your mother tongue. It will definitely help because most of the time uh, when we are making speeches, for example, to the people that we lead, we normally make them in English and you find that there is a miscommunication somewhere, somehow. So if you are very competent in your own language, it makes everything easier. <laughs> Should I be using it? You know, English is the is the language that I should be using. And now it's like, hey, actually, no, you can do this. They come and ask people within the community that they don't have to speak English to do Toastmasters. It really is a new door. It really is, and I think a lot of people will be taking it up. And I've seen people at these meetings that I can see they've got a lot to contribute, but they're just a bit nervous of speaking in English. And so these showcases are a way of breaking that barrier of saying, you're allowed to speak your own mother tongue. And I'm just so proud of the Soweto Toastmasters team who've just stepped forward this year and are taking control of their own lives and their own community and grow. And you can only grow as a leader if you start to speak to other leaders and to say, you know, I'm not the best at this. How do I actually pull this together? Help me. Because true leaders do not have to know it all. They actually just know who to have to tap into. Thank you.